Hey guys, it's your boy Progress and welcome to a brand new video. If you want to follow or contact me on my other social media, I've got my Twitter and Instagram on screen and in the description. So if you want, then go check those out. But yeah, today, this is a little bit of a different video because it's not very common anymore that I'll actually go and criticize content or a channel, but... This has been on my mind for a little bit now, and I think it's finally time to talk about it. Today, I'll be talking about the YouTube channel, site, and company known as Genius, formerly known as Rap Genius. And if you don't know what they are, they're basically most known for their genius interviews they do where they get a rapper or a singer to come on and bar by bar explain the lyrics of their songs. The outcome of it is usually supposed to be that you get to know the story behind that song. Now, you may be wondering, okay, well, what's wrong with that? That sounds fine. And it's not that, it's more so that I can't be the only one who feels like the quality and the credibility of the Genius interviews has been getting lower and lower over the span of the last year. Like, of course, there are still good ones, but there's been more and more stuff popping up that's like this. I be flossing. I be flossing. And other things like this. I'm lost. I'm found too many visions around this place of you and me. And uh, and this. Pop a perk like my back hurt. Ooh. Girl make her back hurt. Ooh. Pop a perk like my back hurt. Ooh. Girl make her back hurt. Ooh. Yeah, it's just not good. And it's been leading me to sit here and think just why? Why do these people have genius interviews? I swear to you, I swear on everything that is good on this planet that not a single human being typed onto their keyboard that they needed a genius interview from the Backpack Kid. You wanna know what his song called Flossin' that the main line of it says I be flossin' is about? It's about how he be flossin'. There is no needed explanation. He already says it. He's flossin'. That's it. And it's not only him that this even applies to. And I feel like maybe Genius knows this, you know, maybe they just did it to kind of clown on him. But then at the same time, you know, it's just been happening so much more frequently where I'm kind of worried, like, is this actually the route they're taking? Like, Genius? No! No, I refuse to believe that you put Lauren Gray after Ski Mask the Slump God? The disrespect! The disrespect, I'm saying! Like, the Boy Boy West Coast got an interview for his song before his song was even released. I'm not even kidding. You can go back. His Genius interview came out March 27th of 2019, when the song didn't even come out till almost a month later. It really is starting to feel like Genius is only caring about how viral something is, over caring about, you know, how good it sounds, or the meaning behind the song. They're just going for whatever bangs off. And yeah, like, I get it. They were trying to do the song before it ended up becoming a dead dead meme, but the problem with that is is that nobody is really going to Genius to try and look for memes. They're going to Genius because they want to actually know and understand the deeper meanings behind certain songs. Like even morons like Jumex got an interview for his song Loner, and guess what guys? His song's about how he's a loner. Well, actually, he tried to make it seem as if there was some massive underlying theme to it. Like showing the kids that they're not alone and they can do or be whatever they want to be is like really important. But then that eventually devolved into this. Well, I, I wrote about my like past about like like drugs and just being alone. Yeah, not much substance other than the drugs that is. Like why give this guy an interview? What has he done in his music that actually makes it so that he deserves to be able to talk about these uninspiring and just unoriginal boring lyrics? I wasn't too sure if you know maybe I was just being a little too hard on them and that who knows this could have just been how it's always been. But there was just something in the back of my head that was eating away at me saying no these have definitely gotten worse. So I went to the about section on Genius's page where they describe themselves and they say quote Genius started as a platform for annotating clever rap lyrics end quote. And now they're kind of saying that they acknowledge that the story behind a song matters and that quote every song is a story that needs to be told end quote. Now I agree in principle with that statement but 
hard bot. If your song is just something that's really unoriginal and is just like money and girls or drugs and partying or I be flossing, we don't need an explanation for that. You don't have an explanation for that. If that's the case where there's not a lot of substance to add, just give them a lyrics page. Why would you waste your time with giving them an interview? I went and checked out what Genius used to put out when they first started the Genius interviews and I was finding people like Ice Cube and Common, these dudes with real stories to tell. So what happened from now till then that made Genius decide, you know what, rather than having these guys with an actual story to tell behind their lyrics, let's just get these weirdos. Let's just get anybody who wants to come on here to talk about their song, even when they have nothing to say about it. Some of these people really come on to Genius and their interview is barely barely longer than the song itself without the interview portions added. Like, if you're not even gonna have a song worth talking about, why did you go on for a genius interview? What part of you was like, yeah, I have so little to say about my song, I'm gonna explain it now. It's like the same thing that I'm feeling about these little Tekka interviews that keep coming out. All that happens is he goes and he raps a bar, then says, oh yeah, that didn't actually happen. Raps a bar, oh yeah, that also did not happen, and then just rinse and repeat. I got two twin Glocks, turn you to a dancer. I don't have no straps for nobody. I don't got no straps. She know I got the Fanny Prado when I hit Milan. No, I've never been to Europe or nothing. I got a pack, hit him and do it again. Fucking, I'm fucking a friend. I have a girlfriend. I don't have no young ladies. Don't DM me. I got bands, one day I'm flying to France. Drinking till a nigga land. Nah, I never went to France, but one day I will. I crashed Ferrari, so I hopped in the bands. I don't even drive. I don't even know how to drive. Why then, Lil Tekka, are you doing genius interviews if you have nothing to say? And unless maybe the reason could be if he doesn't have anything to say about his music, who knows, maybe he's got like a ghostwriter or something and that's why he doesn't know what to say. But if that's the case, then once again, why are you doing a genius interview? Basically what I'm trying to say is that if you're gonna go on for a genius interview or if genius is gonna ask people to come on for an interview, at least make it people who have a real story to tell. Even if it has to be an email correspondence that says like, is there actually a real meaning behind your song or did you just do it for fun? And if they say for fun, cancel it. Don't do the interview because I am totally for listening to those just party songs that are supposed to sound good or they're just supposed to be fun but they don't have a real meaning behind them. But those should not have a place on Genius. There is no reason for that. When I hear Genius and even as they kind of said that they used to be like, you're really thinking that you're going to be getting to listen to something that's clever or hear an explanation to something that is super great that you didn't understand before because it was too complex for you to understand before the explanation. But no, instead you get some moron saying, yeah guys, so uh, in that bar where I said that I like fast cars, the real reason I said that is because I like fast cars. Okay? Cool! Why are you needing to explain this again? Please bring on more people like the YBN Cordays or Logic or Eminem, NF. You know, even people like you got Denzel Curry on there and that's great. You save yourself every time Denzel Curry comes on because there's finally a reason to watch. The more people that Genius brings on that are trash is gonna make it so that the less amount of people who actually take the interview seriously, people are just gonna stop caring about the interviews after a certain point. They're gonna be like, what's special about this? Like, I get it. They're a business, and they've basically sold out to absolutely everyone. But at least try and find people who have a story to tell, or if you're an artist going on to Genius, at least come prepared with something more to talk about. At the smallest point, at least bring what the inspiration was for why you said something. I don't care what the bar was, it could be Lil Pump saying Gucci Gang 20 times over, but if Lil Pump could give me an explanation of saying, you know what, I really like Gucci, and this one time I was at a store, and I looked around and all the boys were together and we were like, yo guys, we're the Gucci gang. And then at least I would feel like there's something, but just saying, oh yeah, that didn't actually happen or oh yeah, no, yeah, this bar is just because uh, the exact reason that it's written, yeah, it's the same thing that's in the lyrics. I don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. And as I said, I'm almost a thousand percent sure that the reason why some of these people are able to get on is because they actually paid to go on for a genius interview because there's a bunch of these dudes where it's like, there's no way anyone asked for this to be done. There's no way even genius
Genius came out of their way to ask for you to come on to their show for this. To be fair to Genius though, they do actually have a couple other series that I do enjoy on their channel, one being The Cosign, where they take much bigger and experienced artists and then get them to react to music from artists who are on the come up and actually starting to make a name for themselves in either the genre that's similar to theirs or the area that they were from. And the other series that's pretty good too is The Making Of, which gives the producers a chance to sign where they actually talk to the producers who were the ones who made the production to really popular songs. But that's kind of where I feel like the Genius interviews fail, is that those other series kind of have these set guidelines that you can expect going into it. But with these Genius interviews, they're a little too open where it's like not something where you will actually know what you're getting. Like if you were confirmed that every time you watched a Genius interview, you would get to have something super cool or something you didn't previously understand explained to you in a very interesting way, or if there was something broken down for you that you did not previously get, you probably would be more likely to watch, but that's just not how Genius works. You know, you've got some good ones, but then there's also a good chance that you're gonna stumble on one that is really bad and just has some random person explaining a terrible song in a worse way than it already was as a song. I'm not expecting for Genius to be perfect in any way, but I think that more and more frequently it's been coming up in conversations that Genius is getting worse and that they are putting on a lot of people who are not deserving of coming on for an interview to explain lyrics that don't need to be explained. We need substance, we need a reason to care, and as of now, Genius doesn't always offer that. But yeah, I think that's basically gonna be the end of this rantish type video for today. If you did enjoy, then please leave a like so that I know that you guys are interested in this type of content and want to see more. And let me know in the comments if there's anything that you guys would like me to cover next. And a little update as well is that when this video comes out, like on the day it comes out, I will actually be going down to university, so I will be starting there very soon, and that means that videos will probably be a little less frequent once I'm in school, but I will still, no matter what, be getting videos out for you guys, so don't worry about that, just make sure you keep up for new uploads, so yeah. Uh, just look out for that. I'd also like to just say a quick thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are so awesome and special shout out to the $10 and up patrons of this month. Those being Scrubby, Tazir, Medusa Lives, Marshall Milano, Farsky, Frushmark, and Wild West Funky. Thank you guys so much for your generous donations. It means so much to me to be able to pay for even just something as simple as my editing software every month. And that will be very, very useful, especially now that I'm going to be in university because I probably will wouldn't be able to afford to even make these videos then if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much. It means the world to me. But like I said, I hope you all did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.